What up, too? I want to talk about the best tuition-free place on this earth, and that's with inside yourself. Um, your intuition, just to keep it distinct. Um, your intuition is your tuition. It's a tuition-free concept. You don't have to pay anything to look inside yourself. I mean, a lot of people, not to knock anyone, because I did the whole college thing, too, and they go to universities not knowing that, I mean, they probably realize that some of them do, but most of them don't realize it, that they could just manifest things out here. And that the universe really, the universe is here, the university of earth. And the universe is with, with inside yourself, and that's your intuition. And that's the best place to really receive concrete and divine intelligence and information is with inside yourself. And people pay all these, all these you know, large amounts of, of money to uh, universities and colleges in order to receive education so they see it as a, a mutuality well some of them do most of them realize that hey i'm just playing the game but if we really collectively looked inside ourselves and said well the, the best tuition free place is within inside ourselves and a lot of this information is already known to us we just have to search deep and it'll come to us because in truth nothing has to be revealed to us all it takes is our willingness to look within inside ourselves and a lot of us don't want to look inside ourselves because they see it as a, uh, as really a obstacle or something that's going to hinder our our uh, progression into uh, dealing with this world. So they want to constantly look outside themselves. But this is a place where it doesn't require money. It just requires silence. It could require music. It requires just something to help you look inside yourself. And you have to pay a dime. It's it's free, and it's inside you because the universe is with inside you as well. I mean, as above, so below. So as within, as without, and so on. So everything that they got us out here studying, I mean, we really, if we studied ourselves, we'll realize the answers and we'll bring about solutions. But everything, everybody is indulging into consumerism and externalism that they don't realize that internalism is the best form of happiness. You can never, you can search all through this external world for happiness, but it'll only lead you down the road of more, wanting more and more and more. But if you search within inside yourself, that's where the happiness truly resides. And I mean, it's innate, it's innate, and it's divine. So, um, just think about that when you, uh, just either try and figure out something, look inside yourself and manifest from there, and listen to your intuition. That's like your inner child. There's nothing wrong with going back to the inner self, which is like the inner child, because the inner child. Or, the, or the, the child itself is so spiritual and divine by nature. But as we grow up in, in this industri post-industrial world, now we're just uh, so inclined to look outside ourselves and to lose uh, touch with uh, nature and with inside ourselves. And we become robots. So um, just look inside yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, just just do that, and things will become so much easier. I mean, I know it can be hard at times for us to really try to dig deep because we feel as though that we can't because we've been told that we can't do so many things because we've been taught a physical way of living. But life comes in multi-dimensional sources, and we're multi-dimensional beings. So we can dig deep from physical, mental, spiritual, emotional. Everything exists with inside you. And the only, th only reason why these things exist and they take place outside of here is because of the fact that we have been um, rendered as beings that really don't have any powers, I would say. And we don't have this divineness about ourselves. But in, in truth, we really do what we have to seek it and we have to desire it. And once we do that, and we learn that this is just nothing more than a journey, then we'll realize, that, okay, well, I can manifest things. I can create things for myself. It's not about really believing, because believing is doubting at the same time. But it's just about really feeling and knowing. And once you will that into existence, then nothing really can stop you beside yourself, because you are your own limitation. 